Welcome to Jews in the Media. Jews in space. Oh, uh, media. Yeah, no, we're not in space. No. On this uh, most momentum, uh, 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 most momentous of, of of days. Congratulations, James. We officially have a capital. How no, cool no, is that? No, we officially had a capital. Well, we have a recognized capital. Or we, we had have a, a recognized capital. We have capital. a re-recognized capital? No, it's but just recognized by one country that didn't officially recognize it, but it was recognized by a lot of well, other Well, no, they have officially recognized it actually in the past. Yeah, but I don't know. As a matter of fact, Congress has now voted, I think, twice, okay, and unanimously agreed at the embassy th- that uh, Israel's capital is Jerusalem, and that's where the, um, and that's where the embassy has been. That's why, but for some reason, every six months they have to continue to sign a waiver to no, not ju- move the embassy to Jerusalem. No, the embassy. Ha- you said the embassy has been in Jerusalem. No, the embassy has been the, in Tel Aviv. The, the consulate the, has been in Jerusalem. No, no. The the excuse me. The capital of Jerusalem has been voted on by the United. They have a you know Congress uh, or whatever has agreed. Right. And they have s- unanimously agreed that uh, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. Okay, but every six months, they the president has signed an, another waiver, another uh, postponement of of moving the embassy uh, to Jerusalem. Like, I don't really understand that. So, if he weren't to sign this this uh, this waiver, what would happen? Uh, the embassy in Jeru- in Tel Aviv would be defunded. So it's not to it's not to mo- to keep it uh, to to move it to Jerusalem or any, it, other than it, it's just to to allocate funds to keeping it open wherever it is is the document that he signed. You know, I I don't know the the intricacy in, of a, a, the. The, the the minute details. So the thing that he signed is probably actually just something that they sign on a regular Every basis. Every president has been signing it for uh, eight, nine years or something like that. But like, nobody else has grandstanded it like, like Trump did. Uh, well, what, what, he, what he announced. Deal. No, no. What he announced what today. He announced was. What he announced tonight was that they are um, actually going to move the, the, the embassy. They are starting to get uh, uh, build plans and everything for the new embassy. And then he signs Jerusalem. a document preventing that, basically. Yeah. Well, no, not not preventing it. Not no. preventing it, but no. but just not progressing that in just, any just way. Basically, what it said was that the officially the embassy will not be open for the next six months in Jerusalem. You're going to have to continue to use Tel Aviv. That's essentially what it is. I'm interested to know where where they would move it to if they're just going to overtake. Which what does that really involve? Overtaking the the consulate? Does it just mean the well? The there's ambassador al- there's already the the consulate compound they call it, um, or the embassy compound or whatever they they. It's, no, it's called it's the compound. Consulate. It's like a two two three story building. It, like it's called the compound. Building. Yeah, but still, it's and th- uh, but it's not a compound like one would expect. You know. Fifteen buildings surrounded by it's one building with a with a fence around it. No, well, but just like you see around Washington D.C. and and the you know Richmond and you know the the areas around D.C. It's just you know well yeah but the embassy you know the embassy in like Benghazi was you know is is, is also referred in in the same way. Yeah, it, but, it's just but it's, it's the way they refer to these things. No, it's well, just all I'm saying is like when you think of compound, you think of you know like twenty four where you have you know a military compound where it's you know. A, t- a bunch of buildings, a bunch of hangars, or whatever they may be, whatever they may be. Um, I don't necessarily. But this is just I don't a necessarily agree. I don't necessarily think when I hear compound, I don't think many buildings and, and oh, everything else. What I, what I do think is, you know, big walls and 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 security. You know, I think almost fortress when I hear compound. Safe house. <laughs> no. Well, well, maybe not. No, well, what's the difference between a safe house? And a compound. Generally, safe houses <laughs> aren't like you know aren't no, like these big no, not really. stand out big grandiose yeah, exactly. things it's with big walls. They're usually just an apartment building next to some drunk guy who you know walks around in his underwear and <laughs> coughs a lot. You know, people where you wouldn't really expect to. Does he have a cold? Yeah. Oh, okay. Should yeah. Him some medicine. Well, he he drinks a lot of medicine. <laughs> if you've ever been to a fa- safe house, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but that's a different story. Right. So, what are the what are the ramifications of this? Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Um, what are the ramifications or what I, are the I possible ramifications? Because exactly what's going to happen, nobody knows. Nobody really knows. Yeah. I mean, uh, they have called for uh, uh, Hamas has called for a day of rage on Friday. And, and what's that really mean? Uh, stay Tuesday. out of stay uh, out another Friday. Stay out of the West Bank <laughs> and Jerusalem because uh, there's chances of some rock throwings, and be careful because there's Chance possibility of, rock of showers. <laughs> <laughs> the, the possibility of rock thro- rock showers and knife stabbing uh, uh, attacks have gone up. And knife fallings. Knives. Yes. Um, falling repeatedly out of someone's hand into your chest. Well, I mean, would the ret- retaliation be so much against? Israel or or America? Well, see, he, he, well, you 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 would think I mean, you would think that people would, would be pissed at Trump and, and they would retaliate against uh, 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 the United States, but uh, you know Turkey, okay, an alleged ally, okay, has said that they would have no choice but to uh, pull all uh, relations with Israel. I thought you were going to say you had leftover this. Turkey. No, I threw away all the leftover Turkey, Shit. and then I made more Turkey. And then gave it away. Shit. Did you make more after that? No. Shit. Yeah, I shit a lot of turkey. <laughs> a whole turkey. An entire turkey came out of my ass in pieces. One little piece at a time. I mean, bloop. There's a lot of those parts that you're not supposed to eat, like, like chicken nails, like their 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 claws. I don't think you're supposed to eat those. You're absolutely supposed to eat those. It's what's in a hot dog. That's true. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Uh, my what's in a hot dog and a nugget? <laughs> what is it? Lips and assholes. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I remember I had this uh, when I was in. Pretty sure asshole is um, what the McRib is made out of. It's a one hundred percent. It's just a now, hole. I remember when I was in school, we played this game. I think. Oh, I think it was Swamp Gas. I may be confusing it with another game. It was a computer game, you know, a little educational game. And and you had to assemble uh, things in di- uh, different parts uh, in different quantities. And some of, the, some of the ingredients that you had to mix, and this is for like potions or whatever, um, but you had to mix like chicken lips and, uh, and snake knees or something. Snake knees or... Or worm knees? I don't know. Something ridiculous. What kind of potions were you making? So it was a it was a game because c- you know what, it was hilarious, and it kept our attention. So you know what, it worked. What game will you play? Hey, I folks! Today we're gonna play the game of witchcraft. All right, get those snake li- gizzards. Yeah, we and didn't have an tails. announcer like a war- uh, like did, did World of come Warcraft like a, doesn't. Did it have come in a announcer? box with like a big cauldron? It was a computer game. Oh, it was a computer. You didn't. Say I that. said that it was a computer game. I don't we think you said it was that. a game we played on the computer. You know, there, I'm, I'm pretty sure you I just said it was I a game we played. This. Um, so yeah, swamp gas. Swamp gas. They made that noise. Swamp ass. I mean, is there a difference? Swamp ass and swamp gas. Well, I've had swamp, swamp ass. ass. I don't think gas. I've ever had swamp gas. That's true. Swamp ass <laughs> is something different. Um, Middle of July, you know, you eat a, you eat a bad shawarma and you're, you're oh going to yeah, have some, some serious swamp ass. <laughs> I guess theoretically you could have some swamp gas, too. Yeah, so uh, one of the main, one of the goals of this podcast is, you know, to, to show how wonderful Israel is. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> warning, you can occasionally get a bad shawarma. It happens. <laughs> Um, uh, you know what? I, I had this conversation because this girl that uh, that I work with, she was eating pumpkin seeds, which is strange for an Anglo. Uh, she's Canadian, but for for an Anglo to um, to eat pumpkin seeds, not really common. I is do. she married? No, I do. I eat pumpkin seeds, um, which you would think is is really a kind of a pain in the ass, but that's kind of like. You know, it's not you. You don't eat pumpkin seeds because you're hungry. I have literally eaten thousands of pumpkin seeds. What's the big deal about eating pumpkin seeds? Uh, sorry, sorry, not pumpkins, but watermelon seeds. I hate watermelon seeds. Is they there are much the of most, a difference in the flavor. They are the most annoying. No, it's not the flavor. It's the getting to the exactly, seed. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, it's not worth it. Um, I, but but that's the whole point. It's you. You're, you're not eating these because you're hungry. 
it's it's more of a fidget thing. It's more of something to do while oh, you're disagree. sitting there. And I, no, I disagree. You're, you know, it, 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 it's Saturday afternoon. You, you, you've eaten. You're still sitting around the table. Maybe you're having tea. Maybe you're waiting for dessert. The women are cleaning the the, the table, hey, depending I, I'm on the one with depend, crippling depending, ADHD. Depending <laughs> on your on your family, you know, the women are are, are are cleaning up the dishes. The men are sitting around, and you know, the, you're, you're sitting there picking at seeds. I don't know. It's like a light snack. I don't know. I get yeah. I, 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 I see what you're unbel- saying. It's a fidgety thing. Light it's, snack. It's, it's something to do. You're to eating dirty. a gram and a half of food. Uh, well, if you eat like a whole bag, you get a gram and a half of food, maybe. Yeah, you're not eating those. You don't go to the store and say, oh, man, I'm starving. I got to get me some watermelon seeds or pumpkin seeds or even sunflower seeds. This is not something you're not. No, when you're hungry, you say, for oh, I'm hu- well, then again, I've never said, oh, I'm hungry. It's like, oh, I got to take a dump. But no. oh, I'm hungry. I, yeah, I was going to get a shawarma or some a burger or something. Watch out for them shawarmas. I wouldn't be in a place where you could. Get seeds if I'm really hungry. Um, a- every convenience store, and they don't have those David's uh, sunflowers. Yeah, but when I I'm, remember when when I'm I hungry and I'm looking for food, I don't go into a convenience store. I go to a shawarma. No, place, no, but pizza, if, you're, if you are falafel, okay, okay. But if you are going to a convenience store, we're talking about going to a convenience store and having the selection, uh, a, a, a selection of items that are edible. Uh, okay, so you're hungry and you're in an AM PM. Is this the scenario? Sure. Well, they usually have like tuna sandwiches and schnitzel sandwiches Not and stuff. Oh, they're terrible though. Well, I, I didn't those. say they weren't terrible. There, how um, about, you know that's what I'm going to get if I'm hungry. But a convenience store. So exactly, that's my fucking point. That's my point. You don't eat uh, sunflower seeds or or pumpkin seeds or watermelon seeds. What other seeds do they roast? I don't think they they're pretty much covered. There's the Russian, the black um pumpkin uh, w- uh sunflower seeds. I don't I don't like those. Are they different? They're just smaller. They're smaller and they're not salted. They're just like dry roasted. Yeah. I don't know. I eat, I eat sunflower seeds. uh yeah, sunflower seeds for the for the salt. <laughs> like a deer. Like a horse. I eat them for the sport. <laughs> For the sport, for the competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you know, you get three people, three guys sitting around. You each have a bag. You see who f- who can finish the bag. I do. I do who remember. Can make the biggest mess on the floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I do. I do remember sitting at my friend's house in or his his, uh, his aunt and uncle's house or something in Rosh Ein, where all the Yemenites live, all, um, <laughs> and we were eating uh, sunflower seeds. And it was almost like a competition, and it was just like fast speed eating. Yeah, no. speed. I've 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 I've, 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 I've become quite good at it. You know, just you get like four seeds in that at yeah. a time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, well, I, m- I remember one time uh, when, we li- when I was living on kibbutz, uh, I went to a, a movie with some uh, English volunteers. And I, I just remember at the end of the movie when we got up, like, our feet were literally buried in seeds. Oh, yeah. Because we were just sitting there. Yeah, you, know, you eat a seed and you throw it on the floor. And you eat the next seed and you throw it on the floor. And you eat it. And, and at the end, it was like three bags of seeds just, just sitting all over the floor <laughs> covering our feet. We called that army. Well, in, in Israel, that's called a daily. You know, you, you can't go to a park or, or, you know, a playground or anything in this country without finding seeds everywhere. Um... Although this it seems true. it seems to get worse on a Friday and Saturday, you know, uh, the kid, uh, everyone just goes out to right. the park or whatever, whatever, and it's the thing to do here in Israel: you eat seeds, throw them on the ground. Yeah, it's it's not even rude. It's like I don't. It really, is rude. You know what? I don't have a problem. It is rude, but nobody. I don't cares. have a. See, I don't have a problem with it. It's biodegradable. The seeds break down relatively quick and everything else. They don't it's break down like very quickly on the concrete. It's uh, they, they <laughs> blow away. <laughs> no, they the, don't. The black guy comes along and sweeps them up. Exactly. Somebody has to come by it. And and you can that guy's gonna come around. That guy's gonna come around and sweep anyway. It might as well be that, something on the ground. That's okay. You. So I have you less of an issue. So you I have less of an issue. I have less of an issue with the seeds being on the ground. It's it's the 
uh, 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 soda bottles and containers and bomba bags. Sitting right next to a trash can, and too. All the, oh, yeah, because they were just too lazy to, to take it the extra half a meter or that they missed and they couldn't be bothered to pick it up and actually put no, it no, in the garbage. No, no, they don't even miss. They don't even, it's not even, uh, it's more the first scenario. They couldn't be bothered to walk the extra half meter. I see this a lot, you know, uh, standing outside De- uh, uh, Decent Golf Center, uh, the mall nearby. I'll see people coming out of the shop, and they just got a brand new shirt, a brand new top, a brand new whatever, and they pull the tag off and just open their hand. It's not like they throw it away. It's not like they're they're like tossing it to the side. They have pulled it off. They 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 wrap their fingers around the tag. They pull it off, and then they unwrap their fingers around it, and it just like falls wherever. See, I've never, se- I've is. never seen anyone do that in the mall. Oh, I see this not in the mall, like right outside, just on the no, street. And there's seen. trash cans. Nearby. Then again, I've, I've never seen, seen anyone like time. buy a shirt and then start like pulling it out of the bag and taking the tags off in I, the parking yeah, I've lot. S- I've, I've seen uh, most people. You no, know, wait no, till they get home. No, or something. you don't understand. This is not the parking lot. This is the sidewalk, just outside. They've walked. They have taken three steps oh, outside okay. the door. But you, 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 you understand. I, 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 I don't care with the distance to the, the st- to the store. I've never seen anyone rip the tags off. And never. I have. I have not. I will take a video of it if I see it again. Okay. It's usually kids. They've gone in. They got something, whatever it is, and they want to put it on. Um, I don't know why they don't put it on in the store. They want to, uh, wh- whatever. Who knows. Um, irrelevant. Suffice it to say, they take the tag off and drop it on the ground. Trash can nearby or not, it doesn't matter. They're not even. Paying I think you're making to this that. up. No, I don't. Think not at true. all. I think it's false. I want to hear other people talk about this, because this is what happens in Tel Aviv. You live in Rishon. You live in a different city. You haven't lived in Tel Aviv in a while, and you also haven't haven't walked around the city in a while. Because you have a car, you 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 see the you see both of these cities or any city yes, that you go to. Yes, but you I, see but, it I, but I have lived light. in Tel Aviv, and even living in Rishon, I still walk around by the stores and things, and I never see people come out of stores and rip tags off of things and then put the clothes on. Uh, it's not like ritualistic. I see people like walking down the streets with bags, and they put them in their car, or they get on the bus, and they are. They're are you ex- they're are you under the impression that I see like everybody doing this? I don't know. You said you've seen it I've, all the time. I've, you've seen it many I've times. I have seen never it seen many it many times. I've seen. Okay, I've, I've seen, never okay, seen let's, it. Let's put it this way. I've seen maybe. Um, let's just let's just throw a number out there. I've seen five hundred thousand people, and I've seen this happen maybe I don't know a dozen times. Whatever, I've seen it happen. Um, it, it's completely irrelevant. There are people who do this, and I wouldn't. You couldn't put it past uh, some of these kids to do this because they're not trained. They're not taught, you know, and brought up to do uh, uh, to 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 be considerate. Um, I would not raise a family in Tel Aviv. It's just, it's just not, not, not uh, a family. I don't know. It's filled with these kids who do this. Uh, y- yeah, but you know what? And it's if not you just go that, to any, o- if you go to any other city in Israel, it's not any different. It's, yes, it's, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, of course, <laughs> it is. I mean, yes. Not living. It is right different. Next it is the, not in a major mall. city. It is exactly. a smaller city. The Israeli city. center, the uh, the the Dizengoff center, the Rishon Mall is a different story. It has different people. The the people think differently. They act differently. You know, y- living in a big city, you know this. You you lived near uh, close enough to a very big city. You know what living in the city is like as opposed to living outside of the city. Very very different things. Yeah. But the subject was uh, garbage oh. and throwing trash away <laughs> and, you know, not throwing it in the garbage. And I don't think there's any difference inside Tel Aviv than there is outside. I sure see kids is. all the time in the parks and re-show, not, you know, just throwing things on the ground and everything else. My only thing that I disagreed with you was I've never seen people come out of the stores and rip the tags off of things. I have. Okay, you have. I don't. It doesn't you. matter. I think it you're lying. I'm not. I think Wh- you're lying. Uh, why would make, I make that uh, up? D- to fit your narrative. <laughs> where, where, where would I have even come up with that specific idea? I've seen this numerous times. I disagree. I don't think you have. Okay. Well, you're wrong. No, you're wrong. Okay. Trump. So. So back to Trump. I don't know. 
Okay. There's no point in this conversation we were having before. I don't know how we um, got on it in the first place. We were talking about the possible ramifications, and next thing I know, we're talking about garbage. Right. So what do you um, think the ramifications are going to be? Do you think we're going to wind up in war? I, well, I mean, I, in the very near future, not down, you know. I think it Do you think a, this is going to lead to, I mean, are you surprised that the sirens haven't been going off yet? Kind of, to a degree. Um, FYI, it's two hours. 11 o'clock. 11? What, just about 11. Uh, sure what time ten. did the uh, did Trump make the announcement? Eight. So it's been just o- just just about three hours. Just about three hours. Um, I wasn't. I don't know. I was. I was half expecting. I, I even hate that uh, that expression, but I was half expecting uh, the sirens to to be going off. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You what were, you were half expecting? Yeah. D- let's not get into that. <laughs> um, we understand what we meant. What I meant. No, I, I, um, I, I, I definitely didn't think it was going to happen, but I definitely it was in my mind. Not, e- I can't even say it was in the back of my mind, but I, 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 I was. I would not have been surprised. Exactly, exactly. That's that's more what I mean. Um, I, I wasn't expecting it. It wouldn't have surprised me. O- although you, you know, uh, uh it, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, Israel's in- independence. Okay. You know, uh, from a lot of movies and stuff that I've watched, uh, you, you watch the movie and it seems that like right after the, the U.N. vote, you know, like almost immediately mm-hmm. uh, sirens were going off and planes were going on o- o- overhead and, and the war was uh, starting. But, uh, you know, in, actu- in, in actuality, it was like uh, I think it was like seven or eight days later. Are you sure th- of that? that? Uh, not 100 percent hmm. sure. That's interesting. I thought it was much can, faster. The internet can be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. You well, know you when know I look. The internet is for when I for porn. <laughs> um, um, yes, the internet is for porn. It's true. It's, it's so, fact. So saith whatever his name was. It's on the patent papers. Yep. I think that's what Al Gore product, prevented it for. Product porn reason for uh, product product internet reason for wow. internet porn. I wonder, I wonder if I wonder if. Because because Al Gore, you know, he he claims to have inspired the 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 rise of the internet or the the invention of the internet. He inspired it, but he didn't actually invent it. I wonder if it was a quest for porn. No, you could already get porn. Discuss. You could already get porn. Not you didn't, internet. You porn. didn't have to create the internet to get porn. There was already porn. Yeah. The internet just made it way more accessible and cheaper. <laughs> you, you no longer had to get like three magazines for ten bucks. You could get you know all the internet, all the porn you wanted for free. Mm-hmm. Uh, but speaking of the internet, uh, mm-hmm. what do you think about uh, what do you think about net neutrality? What do you net- think about the poli- the policing of the internet? Um, that's just a way to capitalize off of it. I don't think it's really for the sake of policing it as much as um being able to charge for different areas of the internet well i i for divvying I, it up in a sense i absolutely think uh, uh, that's one part of it but if if you think about it right now the internet is like the wild west you can pretty much do anything on the internet you can say anything you can do anything with no real legal ramifications to a degree to a degree to, to a degree but it, it it's kind of like the wild west there really are no rules there's no rules about what I can put on my website. I know. I knew this guy named Ben Zona who had a <laughs> uh, Facebook page that was shut down. Yeah, but that's not the rules of the internet, or that's <laughs> not a country's law or anything else. No, it was not. That nice. was Facebook's law. I just thought that was funny because Ben Zona still has his Twitter account. So again, it's not the internet right, cracking down on something. Or, you know, uh, 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 that was just Facebook being douchebags. But um, I I I do, I do th- I I do think that in in, in the future the internet is going to become a more uh, monitored uh, um, a more monitored uh, entity. Um, I I don't think it's sure. going to be such so you know um. so free as it is as right now. I think eventually there are going to be more laws that are going to regulate it. And eventually, it's it's going to be a you know 
uh, and even if it a isn't more regu- regulated, you know, think about it. At, at one time, this. at one time, you didn't need a, a a license. You know, you could just buy a car, and, and then everything else. And then it was like, oh, there's too much car. We need to regulate these things. And then you needed license and everything else. And I think they little said by little, there is too much car. There are too many cars on the roads and things. It became too congested, whatever. And they decided they needed to come up with a better system. And I they think that cavemen. is going to eventually happen mm-hmm. to the internet. I, I think that right now the internet is being used for. Um, a lot of people are stealing music, okay, and, and videos and things like this, downloading Ooh. materials, okay, that you're supposed to be paying for, okay, oh, which is a this. form, which no matter whether you agree with it or not, it is a form of, of thievery, okay? And I think that one of the things they're going to do is they're going to That's start removing the ability for us to download these things. I think what we download and everything else is going to become uh, regulated in time. I don't agree with it, but I think it is going to happen. That that is that would be a change that would be acceptable, that would be understandable. Um, because if somebody is pirating material, well, then that's piracy, and that does go against the the uh, uh, the the producers and whoever you know the the entire um, uh, uh, production side. You know, uh, whoever made. Uh, whatever whatever group made a specific TV show is not getting the revenue. No, uh, but but there I are advocates that. out there that say that the internet is meant for for free exchange and and anything should be able to be put out there for free and, and, and shared. Well, and, and I mean that's just that's, that's, that's just that's just not like using the the Second Amendment to say I can have any gun and I can have a howitzer and I can have a it's it's a gray area. Um, and it's a similar argument. Uh, it's a tough call. But yes, they said the internet was supposed to be free. Well, obviously, you know, there needs to be some sort of a limitation, but that's not what it says. And I understand that. Um, but it's, it's tough. I'm not worried as much about that as, as I am about, uh, cutting back access to information to news, to to resources that people... Uh, I don't have a TV. I don't... I, uh, it's, it's, well, it's one of the big I, things. I, I you're don't absolutely, have cable. Like, you're I don't, absolutely going to have less information. I don't want to watch... Say right now, I don't, I don't, I, uh, I don't, I don't want to watch uh, commercials. I don't want to see TV. So I have internet. And, and I don't get that information. Um, I didn't mean to snap you. I snapped my fingers. Um, but uh, you didn't really snap your fingers. You tried to touch me in a weird way. No, it was, it was like it was it was a light snap. But I was it was yeah. I didn't mean to snap my fingers. Um, if my if my access to internet is going to be hindered or cut or limited in any way, I'm not going to be getting the information that I need, and, and not even that I'm getting the information that I that I need uh, from TV because. You know, to to use the the term fake news, all news is fake news. No, you know, well, they all tell their sites, own story. The the, the big popular, um, you know, the big popular sites like Fox News and CNN, okay, will will be allowed, and you know, but uh, the speed and, and things uh, uh, to uh, smaller sites. Now, let's say you like going to nationalnews.org because that's the website you like or whatever. But it's not or even... Or that you align with or whatever. Now, this little guy, okay, who doesn't get millions of clicks every day, isn't the big uh, corporate guy. His... Uh, it's not the, even his so his much ability, that I don't. His ability to provide you with the, the, his access... It's not that you won't be able to access the information, okay? Like, the net neutrality is... It's not that you're, they're going to block that website. It's because this guy is smaller and getting less traffic. What's going to happen is it's going to... T- they're going to slow his speeds down and give his speeds to the bigger sites. So if you right. want to go to this site, what's going to happen is it, it, instead of it taking a second or two... Uh, for 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 you to access an article, it could take you fifteen to twenty seconds to art to to, to try and access an no, article. I think there's a lot and more most to it than people that. today are not going to deal with. Well, that's what it is. That's what net neutrality is. It, it's 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 that they're going to be giving speeds to the more popular sites and cutting back the speeds. You're only going to have access to so much. 
okay? And whereas I might be able to access your site very fast. I click on it and I'll have it in a second. No, but there's okay, a lot, if there I go to a, a smaller it site, it's it's, so the simple. speeds are going to be turned down. My ability to access that information is still there, but, but it's going to take feature. me longer. And if it's going to take me 15, 20 seconds to get open an article as opposed to going somewhere else and getting it in a second, most people looking for that instant gratification are not going to sit there and pay for high-speed internet or whatever it is that they're going to have in their packages, and then go to these sites that are so uh, uh, that are so slow. I don't think that's the only feature of net neutrality. That's not though. the only feature to net neutrality. No, it's one of the issue. It's it's one of the big underlying uh, underlying uh, features. Well, see, here's of it. one of the problems. When you go to Google right now and you type in a website, okay, th one of the ranking factors, one of the things that makes a website come up first or second or on page thirty-two. Okay, is their speed? Okay, you know what the hell you're talking about. If you, if if you have a website that runs really fast, okay, it has Google likes that better than a site, let's say, that has a ton of images per page and opens very slowly. Okay, that site that opens slowly is going to be pushed down in the rankings. So as the internet providers are dialing down speeds, your ability to access. Uh, uh, how long it takes you to access this information on these slower sites, uh, on these smaller sites, okay, their rankings are going to, they're going to lose rankings, which means you're not even going to see them anymore. The only people you're going to see, okay, right. uh, on the first page or in the first two pages are going to be the big corporate sites. So it's going to totally screw the little guy. Okay, it's 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 like when you're um, you know I bet when you were growing up you had a little hardware store in your neighborhood that you could go and get some screws or a na nails or a hammer or a new shovel or something right. like that and I'll bet over the past twenty years that guy has gone out of business. It's not like a yoga uh, his store is not like a yoga center and you have to go down to a Home Depot right. to get screws and hammers and it's the same thing is going to happen on the internet. The little sites. Okay, are going to get totally screwed by the big by 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 the corporate sites. It's because but it's, but they're it's more popular. They're going to have more traffic. Therefore, their it's, speeds are going to be turned up. No, no, it's the it's smaller not, speeds are going to be the smaller it, sites are going to be turned down. Okay, therefore their rankings are going to drop and they're going to be less visible. You're not going to see them anymore. But this isn't automated. This isn't automated. Net neutrality is opening the ISPs. This is one of the effects right, that right. Net, but, net but neutrality it's the, will it's cause. The, it's the, it's, that's a byproduct. It's how, how you get to that level. And how you get to that level is with the net neutrality, basically it's, it's, it's the loss of net neutrality. That's what's, that's what's happening. So when, when there is no more net neutrality, keeping the Internet neutral, um, the ISPs, the Internet Service Providers, Time Warner, Everest, Roadrunner, Google Fiber, all of these here in Israel, we have uh, Partner and all, all of the different yeah, blah, companies. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. They will be able to sell their bandwidth to the biggest companies. So CNN has a whole bunch of money. They're going to pay Time Warner or, or AOL Time Warner, massive, uh, massive uh, cable provider, are going to be able to sell their... Uh, their internet service or, or their bandwidth to the highest bidder, and who's the highest bidder going to be? You know, which which news yep. network is going to be the highest bidder? Which which uh, channel are you never going to hear of again? This, this the same thing that happened in our small t in, in small town America is going to happen on the internet. Your ability to go to some, sm you know, to, to, to find someone's little website where they're making these little craft things is going to disappear. And all you're going to find is the Ebays and the Amazons, the, the Foxes, exactly. the CNNs, and the, the, the little guy is going to be gone. It's going to destroy the economy. Uh, 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 it's going to destroy a huge global economy because people all over the world now, okay, are making money over the web. Whereas before they only had access to you know their local communities or whatever, now they've put their businesses and and, and entirely new industries have been built uh, uh, on the internet right now. Yeah, and, and all this is going to be destroyed. No, you know the the, the ability to, to throw up a website and, and have it rank and, and have people see it and come visit your site is going to be totally gone. It will be completely controlled by corp by by the big corporate. I want to say corporate America, but this is going to happen all over the world. It's not just going to happen in, in America. Yeah. Well, I, 
It's not so much that they're going to block these sites. Who's, it's not that you're not going to be able to access to these, this information. It's just this information is going to be so hard to find. Um, not necessarily. They can actually block information that they don't well, want you to see. Yeah, they, they can. Competitors' okay. information. You know, <laughs> again, AOL but it's Time no different Warner than right doesn't now. want you to hear about yeah, Google, but it, it, whatever. It, it, but that's know, really no different than the ability, but. what they do now. Just like they can block kitty porn and uh, bestiality, you know, and subjects that they don't want. And that, they, that is that's illegal That's a little bit areas. different. Well, that's lo- that's I'm, law. No, I'm, I'm just saying their ability to do this already exists, and they already do it. it it's that's just, not that has nothing. To I, do I with don't that think, neutrality. but that's, I don't think this is going. No, but I don't, I don't think the information that they're going to be blocking is going to be like you know, it, it's not like in North in uh, in North Korea where they block you know, it's not that Facebook is going to be blocked because they don't want people to have uh, the freedom of social media. How you do know, you know? Twitter's because I don't think that's going to happen. But they can. Well, they can, they can do it now. I don't think they can. Of course they can. An ISP can block whatever they want. There's no law saying that they can't. I own this. I rent it to you. I can do what I want. I don't know about that. You could not know about it all you want. It's it's a fact. I, I'd need to see that. Especially since I a lot of these things, a lot of these things that. don't, you know, exist in the United States. They, they they're in cyberspace. They exist on many different continent, uh, continents and everything else, and server farms. And therefore, they are not you. You are not protected by uh, by the First Amendment or, or or anything else or any of the rights you think you have. You have no rights when it comes to the internet. You have the rights that they grant that the ISPs grant you. I think that's what net neutrality fights against. I think that's the entire the entire purpose of the establishment of the net neutrality. Well, right now uh, in concept. the United States, it's 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 it. You know, nobody wants to block. Nobody's talking about blocking Twitter or doing things like that. You know, uh, 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 like that. And just like they're not talking about blocking uh, small sites. You know, uh, um, they already talk about bl- wanting to kick off uh, sites like. Uh, you know, neo-Nazi sites, the things that pro- promote uh, extremism and violence and, and things like that. Um, but it's 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 not so. Uh, I mean, they could, they just don't because money. I mean, you know, these people are paying for their registration and they're paying for their uh, uh, um, their their web I hosting think that, and I everything think else. Only Therefore, these people for don't want national wanna... security. Um... I don't think they're blocking sites that they just don't like. No. Laws no. that are breaking the law. Like but you the, said, child but that's, pornography. But, but that's what this is really talking uh, about. They could block sites that they don't like. They could do that now. They just don't. I, I don't think they really necessarily... Why is it doing that? That's yeah, fine. Are you sure? Yeah. You were not recording over? Okay. It doesn't matter. Just keep going. <laughs> yes, it's fine. Okay, sorry. It was a technical... Confusion there, there for a, a minute. You had a t- technical confusion. I know what's going on. All right. Um, All of a sudden, it looked weird. No, so, so uh, it's it's. I don't think that it's. They can block things now. They just don't, and I don't necessarily think they'll be blocking anything more in the future. Who knows? Then again, if they wanted to so. block neo-Nazi sites, would I necessarily argue? Um, I wouldn't argue, but um. No, actually, maybe I would. I would argue, just not very loudly. Yeah, I, w- w- I wouldn't go to a protest, but if someone asked me my opinion, I'd be like, well, yeah. <laughs> if, you ta- <laughs> if you take down the neo-Nazi site, then, you know, then next week it's where we're taking down this pro-Jewish, <laughs> and next thing we're taking, you know, so. That's actually funny. W- uh, I was actually going to say, my 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 thoughts would be, well. <laughs> um, and your first word was, well, so we were. Right on the on the same page. Yes, we were both thinking. Well, well, um, well, well, well. But uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, that's I, funny. I was just thinking, but cool. <laughs> no, but uh, um, I, I don't know the net neutrality. There's, I think there's meant to be a lot hidden in this. Um, much, much with any, any bill or any amendment, any, anything that somebody's trying to get passed through, uh, they have, there is an agenda. And what is that agenda? 
Um, it seems like it's money. You think Trump did this for money? What, net neutrality? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was going to say, I wanted to bring the subject back around, but I, for, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you didn't do that yet. No. Uh, <laughs> you think, well, yeah, I mean, if, if um, yeah, well, if the ISPs are then going to start charging you for the amount of websites that you can act, you know, like they do with your, your, your cable channels, you know, you, yeah. you get the sports packet, you know. So if you want the news package on the Internet that comes with like uh, 50 pre-programmed uh, websites that you can have access to and things. Sure, there, there there's definitely is a way for them to make to make money. But um, I, I definitely I definitely don't like it. I'm not for it. No, but I definitely think that the, the, that that. That this is just the beginning. This is just uh, making it. This easier. is, I just this think, the beginning of regulations that are seriously going to totally change the internet from what it is today. And it's I not do just not think that in twenty just, years from now the internet will be anything like what we have now. It's opening up the market. Market is up for grabs. The internet is up for grabs. Um, and there's going to be a lot of money for people to make off of it. I think in the, in the future there's going to be less access, less ability to do things on the Internet. Possibly. No, today anyone can go uh, grab a website and build something up. I, I think it's going to be diff difficult. I think there's going to be uh, permits and licenses and things you're going to have to get permission and approvals, and uh, I think it's going to be completely different. I think it's going to go from what it is today to more like uh, 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 trying to get a pool, you know, in, in your house, you know, in, in your backyard in, in the States where there's going to be all sorts of regulations and inspections and approvals. And it's got to be so far from the house and you have to have a fence and it's got to be blah, blah, blah. I, I think it's going to be more like that within uh, uh, 20 years tops. Yeah, I don't like uh, I don't like where this is headed. Um. I don't expect anything good to come out of this. No, because the first really thing that's going to happen is we're going to have less porn. You and me are not a consideration for them. They don't want to give you what you want. They want to give you what they want you to have. So anything that you wanted on your own, if it doesn't go in, in, in tune with what they want you to have, um, you're not getting it anymore. And this could be a gradual change. They could just very slowly um, begin to adjust the way things are done so you don't really even notice it. Or they can make it immediate and deal with it. It's it, w What this is going to do is the same thing that pro it, it's going to it's going to almost be like prohibition. OK, what, what was the what was the uh, uh, cause and effect of, of well, not cause and effect, but what was the the, the what happened because of prohibition? OK, we had an entire uh, black market trade of, al mm -hmm. you know, alcohol trade uh, popped up, uh, which made tons of millionaires and everything else uh, uh, who, are, you know, were then uh, mobsters and, you know, the underworld yeah. and, and everything else. And, th and that's exactly what's going to happen. It's going to take the, um, the, the dark web and it's going to make it a much bigger and more popular thing because more people are going to, be, uh, you know, are going to want to access what we have now we're, th we're gonna have more freedom i'm interested to know if if the dark web is uh is going to be affected by this because you're obviously connecting through an isp well, you still need to go, there'll be a, there'll be somehow there'll be some hack or something else like i, I don't know i mean yeah it's, it's there'll, there'll, there'll be programs that'll mask your uh not your identity because your isp will be still knows. be able to get that but it, 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 th th i'm sure there'll be some way just, just like now, when they block, you know, like in North Korea, in uh, North Korea, they block uh, social media sites. But there's ways to get around it. I'm sure there will still be ways. There'll still be an underground that has tapped into lines illegal. You know, yeah. This this so it's up not a, a registered point. account. I, I want to look into this a little bit further. I'll ask, uh, I'll ask my friend. This is interesting. <laughs> um, it'll be like the Matrix. You know, we'll be going underground and tapping wires and. To get illegal like, access to the to the like tapping uh, on wires, 
to to get illegal access to the back to the internet backbone, so you can access it without the ISP yeah. uh, permission. Climbing up and, holes and, 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 and you know what? And that's how it's going to need to be done. They would have to li- li- literally illegally tap into the backbone yeah. and access it like that. I mean, if if there's n- if there's no way around it, if this is like a border gate, like this is this is blocking everything off. This is a line coming in from the uh uh connecting this country to the rest of the world unless you're going to go by satellite i mean it seems the only other way to do this to bypass uh the the internal network because everything goes through the same lines leaving the country coming into the country i I, in the united states i worked for uh two telecoms and uh i worked for uh, at&t and verizon and um in in the office we're basically tapped into you know, the, the, the we, we are like the backbone of, of the Internet. You know, well, we, we have, yeah. you know, we have all the lines and everything that uh, everything that's done for the Internet is done over our, you know, over over these lines and everything else. And we had the most amazing speeds. <laughs> you wanted to access something on the Internet. I have never seen faster access to any. It was it was it was it was amazing. It was really it found it cool. before you even searched for it. Pretty much. It was like, <laughs> hey, can I find it? It was like on my screen already <laughs> as the idea was forming in my head. Can I? Yes. Everything. <laughs> it, it, it was really cool. Um, but then again, this was back in the day where, you know, very few people really had a uh, high speed do- um, access in their homes. It was just becoming more, uh, you know, this was in uh, 2001. 2000, 2000, the 99 from 2001, I was working with telecoms. So it was in that time frame there. When I was uh, 99, I, I always knew Verizon as uh, as cell phones. Actually, so the Verizon, oh, until Verizon I moved wireless. to Israel, was, uh, Israel was um, wireless. I never knew of any other venture that they were in. Like, I didn't know they were in anything. And that was 2004, 5. If if I Pretty, remember the I story correctly, like there. Verizon and AT and T were at one point one company, and then they bro- they they I broke they, them up. It was Verizon. Uh, one came of those from uh, anti. Um, Wait, did you work for Verizon or Ariel? Because uh, Verizon no, no, used I worked, to be car- I worked for Ariel. I worked for AT and T and Verizon Wireless. Yeah, so I think I think before it was Verizon, it was Ariel Wireless. A E R I. Look, at one time it was all a- it was all AT and T. Uh, uh, one <laughs> and then uh, American one Telegraph and Telephone, Pony Express, a- and then they um, w- um, shit. What's it called when the uh, a- anti monopoly or whatever, whatever the c- came, and they had to split it up. So they became like all the Ma mm-hmm. Bells. Okay, you know you had like uh, uh, Bell Telephone and Bell West, and you know in Florida had I don't, I don't every different state or area had a different version of Bell Bell Telephone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southwestern Bell we had. Yeah. Kansas City, and, and then eventually uh, uh, AT and T bought. You know, they became a- some things became AT and T, and some things became Ver- You know, and they started to form larger companies, more so than just like your state or area, and uh, that's why we have all these co- companies now. But they all started off as one company. It's 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 all one infrastructure that was really uh, originally owned by uh, AT and T. That I I did not know that. Um, that is very interesting. They think it's a big deal, you know, when you're working at, in when, when you're a telecom worker. That I see that story. But um, I, I'm just I'm just not sure what uh, what to expect here from um, this net neutrality. It's I, I, I think I you can ex- you can expect that over a period of time, all the things that we like about the all the being able to download music and TV shows or what what whatever. Is is all going to disappear? Yeah, it's it's going to be you know uh, much harder. You 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 you're going to have to be a hacker if you're going to want to continue to access that in that that type of stuff. And again, I mean, well, with 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 different equipment connecting to it. Well, whatever, who knows? Oh yeah, no, it's 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 not going to be so. It's not going to just be like click you know click on your uh, internet and uh, you know uh, click on your VPN and you'll be able to access the information. You're going to need special equipment to tap into special servers to bypass the ISPs to be able to I- gain access to this stuff. Yeah, I don't know. 
which uh, certainly now most people don't have the knowledge or ability to do. So I don't think it's going to be a very. I, I think it's going. It, it will become larger, but I I, I certainly don't think uh, it's going to be very popular. No, I, I don't think most people are going to be able to access it. Most people are going to be like the. I don't know. I, I keep. Uh, um, what the hell was the, uh, demo? What was it? Demolition Man, when they're in the future, and everything's all neat and clean, and you mm-hmm. can't curse and everything yes. else. Like that's what the web is going to be like, and that's what most people are going to have to live with. Um, I don't know about that. I don't think you're going to type in cleaner. like big titty selfies or something, and he's going to be like. Ah, ah, ah. And like a, a a report is going to print out at your computer, and you're going to have to pay a fine or for it'll trying just be to access the, uh, exact inappropriate opposite. information. Or it'll be the exact opposite. The only things that you do get are are just disgusting and vile <laughs> vile things. Just so, so it's either it's, it's, it's either it's going to become this like crazy utopia world like like a Demolition yeah, for, Man, or it's going to become like idiocracy, where all it's going to be is porn and beheading yeah, videos, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically, but less funny. Like, uh, everything is going to be stupid and dumbed down, and you're too stupid. Here's what to think. Think like this. Deal with it. Um, South Park did a, did it really well. Um, um, when they were talking... Oh, uh, no, it was uh, one, of the, one of the more recent episodes. There was a behind-the-scenes uh, of the writing process, and they were talking about this, this episode, and... You know, it was something that, uh, you know, in, in one of the episodes they were marketing some product. I don't remember what it was. Um, I think it was a TV show, and, and it was just two brothers. They're, 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 uh, they're eating ice cream and sitting around. Fuck you. Just watch it. Um, and that's kind of what it is. Fuck you. Just watch it. Um, I don't really see this as, <laughs> as, as turning out well for, uh, for humanity. Um but I think it's going to go more in that direction, like just dumbing everything down so much. So you're in a state of of uh, you're kind of in a stupor yourself, and you know you're just you're more susceptible to um, to um, suggestion and influence. Hmm. It's easier to throw your stuff in your face when you're stupid. So. I don't know. That's where I see net neutrality bringing us. And how's that going to affect sites like YouTube? YouTube is still going to have be there. still going to have videos of like people getting kicked in the nuts, but like I had to do math will be gone. I think it's called Ow my balls. Ow my balls. That's a that's the name of a video. Yes. I've never watched kick, Kicking in the Balls. Video. Yes, you have, if you've seen Idiocracy. All right, well, I've watched <laughs> that movie. I've never watched <laughs> videos on YouTube of no, people getting kicked in the balls. No, it was a show that they were watching in the movie called Ow My Balls. There oh. was the movie. There was the movie, 90 minutes of ass, just an ass, like sitting there, uh, standing there. Um and there was the show "Ow My Balls," and the lead si- uh, the, uh, the 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 "Ow My Balls" guy was singing the national anthem, and the game at the monster. Uh, what did I think it was? Ah, the <laughs> rehabilitation. I, the I I don't remember. You should watch that movie. It's a good movie. It's actually it's actually a scary movie. At I this remember point. the I remember the movie. I don't remember the 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 movies and necessarily all the commercials and everything that was inside the movie. Uh, it, it's it's uh, it's scary at this point because the president is is it's Terry Crews, you know, the the big. Uh, no, I remember um, big football football. Yeah, I played something football um, playing uh, Herbert Eliz- Her- Herbert Mountain Dew Elizondo. Um, and he's just this. This guy there to rile up the crowd, and no more than that, like just a figurehead, and all the people involved who are doing nothing. Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you what: if you're gonna, if you're using that as an example, comparing it to Trump, I'm not gonna allow that today. Today, I am proud of Trump. Um, 
I don't think it was the right time. It needed to happen. No, no, no. It absolutely needed to I, happen. You know I'm what? happy that it did now that it Here's has happened. Here's what I will say. But when, I didn't people want say, it to you know, happen. Uh, and I will say, and, and no, I would have did, said, did that make and sense? I would have said, yes. And, and I would have said that you, you're right. I don't think this is the right time. But here's the thing. I don't think there's going to be a right time. Maybe. I don't think there's going to be a right time. I Maybe don't think there's no ever time be like a si- the present. I don't think there's ever going to be a situation where oh now is the time to do no. I, th- I but I think it needed to be done. Um, and I think you know sometimes what? you know what? sometimes you have to say you know what fuck this. I'm going to do something different. It's like Trump said. It, it you know it it, it 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 it's time we stopped uh, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. See here whether or not this is going to be a good thing I don't know, but it is going to definitely be different well listen listen um, is anything on the ground really going to change i don't know retroactively i noticed uh um this this was over the past couple of days i don't know if you've heard this uh lots of jets <laughs> flying over military jets not like 747s they're flying in you know north to south um i've heard this a few times and we've commented about this in the, at the office um, I noticed it here. I noticed it at the office um, a few times. I, I, it, th- th- this this was a great move. If and I don't even need to know about, it and I don't want to know about. It. I want it to be s- to be kept secret, as long as as they were ready and they have helped Israel prepare for backlash for this decision for this word having come out. If he has put the forethought into ensuring that the country hosting this whole debacle is secure then okay well does I, that make I don't sense? know like, yeah I, I don't know if he's made sure that this kind but i'll tell you what but again, I, I guarantee the, the, i the guarantee since the first meeting has. that uh, that uh, netanyahu had with trump Okay, back even before he was uh, uh, actually elected. Okay, I guarantee uh, that Netanyahu has been telling him, "Do this, do this, do this, it could be, do this." It could be, and they've been they've been planning it. They've been working on it together, and. But let's, let's, let's also remember off, something. Man. Let's like, also listen. remember that uh, Abbas, you know, the, the fucking leader of uh, the Palestinians, uh, has also been running around trying to get recognition for I Jerusalem ju- as their capital. I've just not been They're given— They're really pissed off that we managed to get it first. I've just not been given much hope in that he is a person who plans things before they are done. Uh, there's been t- There's been so much impulse, and this seems— it seems like a very impulsive thing to have done, to have said, to have uh, released, to have spoken about. Um, but if if there was the planning, now this country, guys, listen, the, Israel is is so it can be so frustrating sometimes. But when when push comes to shove, Jesus Christ, this country just works. It's incredible to see how how the country. Uh, binds together how the country ties together when when there's any sort of a war or any sort of a conflict going on i mean you notice this too the country just everything works uh very smoothly um so well i I wouldn't say things work smoothly no 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 but i I would say on an individual time on an individual change i i would say that on an individual basis People do come together, you know. Yeah, listen. It's, I, it's, it's hard not to come together with your neighbors when you're sitting around uh, in, in your underwear, uh, uh, you know, in a bomb shelter at 3.30 in the morning. And, and, and if you're not there, if you're not there, your neighbors are knocking. My neighbors knocked on our door. Like, they heard me in my room, and I, I just I couldn't be bothered. I was kind of lazy and just didn't didn't care because, like, I, I, I'm, at, I'm on the side of the building where it wouldn't have even, like, it would have to go through like four, three floors, two floors, a floor. It would have to go through my side. Um, no, it would have had to go through a, a, a lot of building. Um, so I was really in a safer place than in the stairwell. The stairwell is is further north. Um, so, yeah, I didn't do that. Um, no, it's t- further south. Sorry, it's it's not just because of the location um, uh, that they that they tell you to go to the uh, stairwell. The stairwell is the most uh, secure sh- structurally, 
So let's say, yeah. Is, but I'm right next to a foundation wall. Well, yeah, that, that, that's okay. I know. Still, because of the shape <laughs> and everything else of, of no, the stairwell. No, I know what you're saying. I know if what you're a high saying. explosive round were to hit the building, okay, even if it were to hit over there, it could take apart your, uh, you, you know, your apartment if it landed on the other side of the building. But yet, more likely that the stairwell is going to maintain its uh, integrity. Uh, possibly. That's so I was they, in my room. That's anyway. what they say. So anyway, I was in my room, and they knocked on my door. My neighbors knocked on our door. They went out into the stairwell. Uh, and knocked on our door to get us to, you know, you guys in there, you safe? Come on, come on, come on out, come on out, join us in the in the stairwell. More, <laughs> le- less, less out of fear and more out of like, hey, let's, you know, let's have a get together in the in the stairwell. You know, obviously they would not have done this if there were not uh, rockets. But um, yeah, <coughs> yeah. When I was in the army, uh, I noticed the change. I noticed when when. It went from, ah, yeah, everything's cool, whatever, to, like, switching gear immediately and getting into into game mode, battle mode. Um, I noticed that change. And, and, and it, it was, you know, people who, once you've, once you've left um, basic training, uh, in essence, you're, you're in more of a, more of an open, open area. You can, you know, speak with your commanders on more of a familial basis and, you know, be more friendly with them than, you know, just yelling back and forth and, you know, sir, yes, sir, and all that. Um, but when there is, when there is a war, like it reverts straight back to, uh, the discipline and the, it's, it's, it's refreshing to see. It's nice to see. Uh, but it's at the same time, like I remember on on kibbutz, like you know, when war when war comes, it's you see things, you see the way this country, um, the way it's it's molded this country in so many ways. I got a question. Yeah. What war was going on when you were in the army? It was the second intifada. There was a rocket fell uh, right outside our uh, right outside our base. Well, yeah, for years rockets were falling. In lots of oh, it was in the middle of a big war. The Great War. Uh, what was it? It's funny, because we were living together when... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't remember really anything going on. Rockets falling... No, rockets were falling on a regular basis. We weren't really doing well, yeah, much rockets in, were in falling return. on a lot of bases, but that w- we weren't really at a at a war. Like you know, there was the 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 the, the was second it Lebanon okay. war. It was not peace. Rockets time. were falling in a lot in the north and in Haifa and stuff. It was not peacetime. <laughs> and then there was the Gaza war. And okay, okay, it was not peacetime. So there were rockets falling. Wow. And and throughout this entire phase, throughout anyone the, the who has t- lived in Israel time? since it was reestablished in 1948 has never been okay. here during peacetime. Okay. Suffice it to say, when we were when we were on the base and the rockets started falling, mm-hmm. it started to really come together, and people people came back into that very serious uh, battle mode. Uh, it was nice to see, but again, like I started to say, um, you see the other side of it also, and 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 how how the country was so formed uh, around. War and the fear of war and the and the and the potential for war, um, you know. I think it was it was it was one of the most uh, vivid images when I was on kibbutz before I uh, made aliyah. Um, when I was on kibbutz the first time, and that was during the second intifada. Uh, and during the second intifada, uh, they were telling everyone to stupidly put plastic sheeting over your windows and y- you know you you comply because okay whatever i didn't really care um it's, 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 as david cross what as david cross says what is the plastic sheeting going to do stop bombs from coming into your into your skin um it will not well n- n- no but the reason for the plastic sheeting was in case uh well, originally, you know, back uh, it, it, it it won't do anything in in uh, during the um, Gulf War. The reasons were if this if one of those rockets did hit, 
Okay, let's say if it landed it's in a your false sense of hope. in your it's neighborhood, not do anything. it probably wouldn't have. Definitely would not have. Well, no, I, I, did, I, <laughs> I, well, if you tape off your room and you do it well, and you can stop air, you know, and you can make it airtight and everything, yeah, you can stop uh, the gas from getting in for, for how a, long? A very short period of time. Okay, so because <laughs> a bomb, sh- you know, your shelter, your your personal shelter really isn't that big a room, but uh, you know, a couple hours. Which might be enough time for now, the gas now, to dissipate. I don't know. No, there's the rooms with that have like the full on filtration system, the 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 HEPA and the Avac. Uh, uh, I don't filtration know. Filtration. We had a f- we we had a filter thing in the shelter we had at my fr- my, my first apartment in Paris. No, you Shelba. had a hole with a with a towel stuffed in it. <laughs> no, it was it was it was this whole thing. That's what in they case all of a are. war, you were supposed to like. Uh, you had to like undo a bolt and push this uh, thing in. I know what you're talking about. I and know what and you're it was supposed about. to act as a filter. Yeah, there's a towel in there. <laughs> oh, you're a towel. Uh-huh. Probably just like a charcoal filter <laughs> or something. Um, something like you'd find in my fish tank filter. But getting back to it uh, real quick before we before we uh, call it a night, um, it was it was it was so such an intense sight to see. Um, you know, we were we were being told to put the the plastic sheeting up and um, we were being as tourists, this was not something that the country really did, but as tourists, they were, they were issuing us gas masks. Um, So we had, we had our gas masks. We were told to carry them around everywhere and we're living on kibbutz and you know, there's, there's a school there and the kids are going to school and they're bringing their gas masks along with them. And, they don't understand what's going on. Like th- they're they're completely detached from what they're carrying around with them. To the extent you know, these kids are walking around and they've put stickers on their gas masks, and like it's just it's just something that they carry around and don't really understand the the connection. Um, that's fucked up. <coughs> well, you know, things have been going on in this country that have been fucked up uh, for years. Look, if if you li- if you were a child and you lived in the in the south, you know, near the 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 Gaza border, okay, you grew up in an existence where you know you have like fifteen seconds to run to a shelter when you hear that siren. Most of the kids were sleeping in their shelters, yeah, uh, every night. Uh, just to get a decent night's sleep and not have to worry about waking up in the middle of yeah. the night. Th- you know, uh, kids five and six years old uh, uh, were, were completely shell-shocked from from uh, an, an existence like this, and it was going on for a couple of years, you know, to the point where in uh, 2000 and... Was it 14? 2012? The war in Gaza. Where we went in, it went yeah. ever since then, things have been quiet. Was that 14 or 2012? I think that was 12. I want to say 12. I think you're right. I think it was 12. So we, went in, we went in there, got, got mm, you know, kicked a bunch not. of ass and destroyed a whole bunch of rockets and did what we had to, you know, did a good deal of what we had to do. Uh, of course, we got, you know, shit on by the uh, international... Uh, News media and uh, the, the the court of uh, international opinion, but uh, meanwhile we've had uh, five six years uh, of relative quiet, you know, rocket free existence. We've got kids that you know are growing up uh, not under the thre- the constant threat of uh, having to run to a shelter, not having known that. I have um, I had this app. On my phone, I don't know if you had this as well. There's an app uh, for the the red alerts. The red alerts. Yeah, of course. There's I the had red alert app on it. on your phone. Um, I got a new phone year, two years ago, year and a half ago, whatever it was, um, and I have not reinstalled that app. Yeah. Uh, there's a Chrome extension. Well, the, you know, I ca- there, there, there there have been at least two times I can think of. Uh, uh, since 2012, where that app has had a problem and accidentally sent out alerts, uh, that that like you know uh, caused enough stir that it made the paper, uh, you know that that, that there was an, an error. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember that. A false alarm in the app, and everyone's fucking running to shelters. But I uh, there's also the uh, there's also the app for Chrome that will uh, send out alerts. You know, it'll 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 push notifications. There's uh, the website. The website I think is even down. Uh, how long has Israel been rocket free for? Or no, it's uh, how uh, Israel has been rocket free for dot com, f o r. And this site will uh, it, it it was counting down. It was five minutes, you know, ten minutes, yeah. six minutes, thirty seconds. You know, rockets constantly were falling down. I Most I of them, luckily, uh, Baruch Hashem, were not uh, were not. Um, Hitting anybody, hitting anything, but uh, but still. Yeah, no, I, I, I uh, you know, the world wants to shit on us for that last war and everything, and, and say that we killed millions of children or whatever the hell they want to they want to say, but the fact of the matter was, it, w- it was uh, it was w- what we did in Gaza was necessary. We w- we were um, we had Israeli citizens that were living under constant uh, uh, barrages of uh, of rocket fire. And that was unacceptable. And, and a lot and of that rocket be, fire. And you can say whatever you want about what we did. But the fact of the matter is that Hamas has been doing a, a pretty good job of making sure that they may, you know, that the, the peace is uh, maintained uh, ever since then. It's been relatively quiet because they don't want us to come back. They don't want us to do that again. Now, true, th- it's not like they've disarmed, and it's not like they're uh, playing nice. They're g- just no, getting they're, ready for yeah, the they're next. Building uh, up. They're building up. They're building arsenals. their defenses. But the fact of the matter is, it was definitely a, a good deterrence. It was something that needed to be done. It couldn't. It couldn't just be allowed to go with what the way it was. It was fucking ridiculous. Yes, it was. But absolutely, their biggest mistake, though, was ever firing those longer range rockets against Tel Aviv. That's when it really amped shit up. I don't I don't understand. Like we have this um, uh, or or allegedly we have this technology called the iron beam. This has been discussed, uh, which uses they call it an energy. It's a laser. It's a laser. It's a freaking laser uh, that shoots. And it's, it, this is. This is not like unheard of technology. It's like, like mounted on a shark's head, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. No, no, they're they're sea bass. They're ill-tempered sea bass. Ill-tempered sea bass. Um, Less cool. <laughs> um, but uh, we've had this we've had this technology for for a while. Now each Iron Dome uh, projectile was costing. We talked about this before. What was it between? Between uh, between forty and and a uh, hundred twenty thousand dollars a shekels for each one, but the beam costs. I don't know how much does it cost to to generate that much electricity. I no idea. The, uh, this is just uh, this is just the military but complex. Yes, we, we have we talked about this in the later. fact uh, you have we have uh, talked about this before, and the fact of the matter is, is I don't see anywhere in the military. I don't see anywhere. Uh, uh, where they're talking about actually deploying this, so is it right. re- does it really exist? No, they've tested. They well, they've they, shown they, they've shown videos of it, uh, as far as I remember. But does it exist to to the point where it could really be deployed and, and used in the field? Obviously not. Otherwise, it would be. If they had something better, I suspect they'd be using it. No, but this goes back to this goes back to the to the money making uh, uh, machine of the military, where. Does it actually cost? Okay, let's say the the each each projectile is twenty thousand uh, is sixty thousand dollars because around the median, uh, sixty thousand dollars. What in it? If they're firing hundreds of these, what in that costs? Uh, sixty thousand uh, dollars. sixty thousand well, shekels. Sorry. Me and you. Me and you. You know, we 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 went to the store before and we bought a bottle of Coke and. I don't know. Let's just say the bottle. Co- I don't know what a bottle of Coke costs at the store. Seven shekels, something like that. Eight shekels. But let's just say ten shekels. Okay. <laughs> what in that bottle costs ten shekels? Nothing. <coughs> Nothing. So what costs sixty thousand dollars in that rocket? Nothing. Exactly. It probably doesn't cost like the the sixty cents or the seventy cents that it probably costs to make a bottle of Coke. But it's I'm sure a lot less than probably ten thousand dollars. Per rocket, yeah, exactly. You know, you know what else is in there? Fifty thousand dollars. 
Natasha. <coughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's. Sh- uh, yeah. Okay, that's the less confusing uh, <laughs> place to. F- sure. All right. Ah, thanks for showing up tonight. <laughs> uh, well, we can we can talk about it for hours, but it's already, you know. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, well, the the point was that weapons manufacturers charge a profit for their weapons. Is that what you were really going for? Because, duh. Where's the profit in a in a laser beam? Uh, I don't know. It's the electric exactly. Company. There's no money. The electric company. There's no money. There's no profit in the laser beam. So they're going to continue to use what there is money in. Hmm. There is money in war. This is not news. No, this is not news. All right. Good night, folks. Peace. <laughs>